Hey, Saints fans, we got a busy show today where we're going to look at some draft targets for New Orleans. But before we do that, here are some reasons why I encourage you to subscribe. We've got interactive Saints coverage with several videos per week where we interact with you guys in the comments. Plus, answer your questions on our mailbag videos, hashtag Saints down below. Uh, Saints news, rumors, free agency, and draft updates as well. If we get more subscribers, we can do more videos for 100% free. Plus, for those of you who are already subscribed and you want to be involved right now, type me down below and represent as we continue to grow this channel. Welcome in to Saints Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham. We're going to take a look at some updated Saints draft targets as the draft is less than a month away. It's going to be here before we know it. Kind of get some background info, the draft outlook for New Orleans as we approach the month of April here. Saints top pick is number 18 overall, uh, one of eight draft picks for the Saints this year. Obviously, some of those needs include wide receiver, tight end, offensive tackle after losing to Ron Armstead, defensive tackle, and running back depth as well. Those are some positional needs that you could uh, go after if you are New Orleans, but uh, I think there's a variety of spots uh, the Saints could take a look at early in this draft. And of course, they'll still sign a few players, so your draft needs could change between now and a month from now. These are the draft picks for New Orleans, number 18 overall in round one. Like we mentioned, another top 50 pick there with number 49 in round two. Third round pick, which is a compensatory pick, number 98 overall. For the Saints, number 101 overall as well. So four top 101 picks. I like that a lot for New Orleans as they try to get some new young talent in here. And then three picks on day three. Fourth round pick, number 120 overall. Number 161 in round five. No sixth round pick. Uh, had to be had to forfeit that pick due to a COVID-19 violation. And then in the seventh round, number 238 overall. So eight picks for the Saints, including four in the top 101. Shout out your dream draft target for or New Orleans. Let us know down in the comments if you could pick anybody at number 18, who would you like to see New Orleans take? All right, let's get into five draft targets for New Orleans on today's video. Number one, Garrett Wilson, the wide receiver out of Ohio State. He might be my dream draft target for the Saints, and dream might be the right word because a lot of mocks uh, would suggest that he's probably not going to fall to 18 at this point in time, so you would maybe have to go trade up to go get him. I've seen a lot of mocks have him go in top 10, and for good reason. I think he is the smoothest receiver in this draft. Great route runner, good vertical threat, can high point the football, Good speed, finds the end zone. I mean, he he does everything. If he was 6'2 instead of 5'11, he would be a top five consensus pick. I think there's uh, no doubt about that. I like Garrett Wilson over Chris Olave, especially for this team right now. I think he would be a good blend with Michael Thomas. Uh, those Buckeye boys, they're always plugging out receivers at Ohio State. I think Wilson fits what this team wants to do. A guy that consistently gets open, which is important uh, with you know some uncertainty at quarterback, whether uh, it's Jameis Winston, who can be erratic at times, or Andy Dalton. Obviously, we all hope and think it'll be Winston. Uh, but you get guys that get open like Garrett Wilson, that's a good thing. I think he would be a dream at 18, and I might even consider trading up for him. How about Charles Cross out of Mississippi State? He's one of these guys that some mocks have him going top 10. Others have him falling to 20. I mean, 18's possible, uh, but uh, I think he could be in that Wilson realm as well where moving up uh, might have to be an option if you want to go up and get him. Uh, really good pass blocker playing in that Mike Leach air it out, air raid uh, system at Mississippi State. Not a lot of run blocking experience and not great at it when he had to do uh, do that in college. I think that's just an area he's going to have to improve at and grow because obviously uh, New Orleans is going to want to run the football with Alvin Kamara and whoever else is in the backfield. So I like Cross. I think at 18 it's really good. Uh, could go top 10, top 15 though. So we'll see if he is on the board when the Saints make their first selection. Who should or what should the Saints target in round one? Right receiver, offensive line. These are obviously two areas that New Orleans would like to address. What would you do if you were in charge? Type WR for wide receiver or type OL for offensive line. Traylon Burks, a personal favorite of mine and of producer uh, Trace Gerard, as he is in charge of our Saints coverage, uh, our resident Who Dat Nation supporter here at Chat Sports. 
Traylon Burks is just a do-it-all weapon at wide receiver. Kind of a poor man's Debo Samuel. Uh, can catch the ball really well. Good route runner. Good enough speed. Very physical at 6'3", 230 pounds. But he can do some different things on top of what you're seeing with the receiving numbers there, which was great. Uh at Arkansas last year, considering they had average quarterback play most of the season. Uh, he's producer Trace's top guy, uh, maybe because he went to Arkansas, but also because I think he's a do-it-all guy, and he's the type of player that the Saints love historically. Hey, you're just a baller. Come up, come over here. We'll put you in different spots. We'll line you in the slot. We'll put you on the outside. We'll bring you out of the backfield. We'll toss the ball to you. We'll throw uh, back shoulder fades to you. We'll get you the rock 10, 15 times a game, and let's go. I think that he's that type of player uh, coming out of Arkansas. Arkansas, and I think he can be kind of a do-it-all weapon in the NFL. Number two wide receiver type, that also gives you some reps out of the backfield and lines up at different spots. Now, before we get to our last couple of draft targets, why not get a draft hat? And I actually think the Saints one is one of the better ones. You got the black uh, cap, you got the gold uh, lid there, and then you got the uh, the gold letters and the white cursive on top in New Orleans. Good looking hats here. You can get the curve bill style, the snapbacks, whatever your favorite go-to hat uh, choice is, chatsports.com slash Saints hat. That link right there is below in the comments and in the description of this video. Represent Houdat Nation and get a Saints hat today. A couple more guys here. Let's go back to the offensive line. Bernard Raymond, who versatile player out of Central Michigan, can play tackle, can play guard. He's getting first-round buzz now, so I think he's a realistic possibility here at number 18. Uh, crazy story as he came out of Austria and uh, has really just built up his stock with a strong pre-draft process uh, coming out of small school Central Michigan. I think if uh, a guy like Cross is already off the board, bringing in a guy like Bernard Raymond who is still learning the game and has tons of untapped potential could be a guy that all of a sudden 10 years down the road you're looking at, yeah, that, that Raymond guy, he was an anchor on that Saints offensive line for a decade. I think he's got that kind of potential. Uh, now, maybe he falls to the second round as well, but uh, he's got round one uh, upside. There's no doubt about it. So we'll see where he goes. I would love him on day two. Absolutely love him on day two, but don't be shocked. How about this? You trade down from 18 later into the first round, he could be an option there as well for New World. Trey McBride out of Colorado State is our fifth guy here as uh, – he actually just ran a 4.54 in the 40-yard dash at his pro day. Uh, that information just co coming across the uh, the, way, the wire here. Uh, really good receiving tight end. Uh, more of a day two type of selection. 1,100 yards. Just one touchdown. I think uh, he can certainly uh, find the end zone more in the National Football League. But uh, really athletic. Like I said, just ran a mid-4.5 uh, uh, in the 40 at his pro day. And uh, the Saints haven't really had that top-tier tight end in a while since Jimmy Graham left. You know, they had Jared Cook for a couple of years who was decent. But a guy like Trey McBride working the seam, uh, I think, uh, could really help. The Saints need a tight end. And I think, you know, third round, uh, he could be an option for you uh, if you are New Orleans uh, looking to round out this offense to put Jameis Winston in the best chance to be successful. So here you go, five drafts targets for New Orleans. Garrett Wilson, Charles Cross, Traylon Burks, kind of those for sure round one type of guys there. We'll see where they end up going. Bernard Raymond, late round one, early mid round two could be an option there. Uh, and then Trey McBride, probably a third round guy, maybe fourth round, uh, but uh, a tight end uh, that New Orleans could certainly utilize. So there you go. Who should do, or who do you think, excuse me, the Saints should pick in the draft, you can name one guy, you can name multiple guys. Maybe you want to send us your entire mock draft. Producer Trace will be reading your comments, uh, as he always does. So represent down below, and we'll see you next time here on Saints Now.